start now? Yeah, so this would be the uh, number one collection uh, Makita started with, um, with a slightly wider temple compared to other collections and flat sheets, uh, stainless steel, surgical stainless steel material we use here to make them flexible, lightweight and... Um, Can you show me their flexibility? I will, I will. So, um, as I said, stainless steel and it is a flattened material which makes them this flexible and also very lightweight due to the thickness of the material. So, very convenient to wear in my eyes. Yeah, they're probably the lightest glasses in existence, no? Yeah, one of the lightest brands you can find on the on the market. Uh, you can only make glasses m even more lightweight by uh, reducing them to the max, which we did with our stain with our less rim collection eyewear right here. So um, this would be even less material, still flexible, flexible even with the uh, correctional lenses in and uh, we reduced the look and the, the weight by, um, by um, hiding the whole rim inside the uh, lens groove. That gives them a uh, quite uh, rimless look without being actually rimless. And you started this edition with the 3D printed glasses? Yeah, that was um, implemented a few years back. Um, so this would be a collection made in a 3D um, printing or let's say laser sintering process. So basically it's not an actual 3D printer we use here. It's a, um, um, a technique um, we use, uh, we would use for uh, prototyping of uh, larger objects and we use it for uh, glasses which make, gives them this nice uh, let's say leathery or wooden uh, look and uh, these glasses um, um, are still lightweight though it's uh, a lot uh, way more material um, the cool fact about the material is that it stays flexible forever um, because it got uh, like this special material feature that is like a very long chained plastic material that makes it flexible and also very lightweight and we do have uh, the option to uh, play around with uh, different uh, shapes and different um, um, different ways of making which wouldn't be possible with uh, with other materials because mm -hmm. this is just made from zero and you don't need to um, use um, like a certain certain material and grind it um, it is yeah like uh, you can you can make it from 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 scratch kind of, mm -hmm. yeah. and um, yeah, I mean, in uh, in Makita we try to experiment uh, as as much as possible with different materials. So you'll find um, this three D printing printed material, which is called nylon, uh, like a new word made from Makita and nylon. Um, <laughs> And uh, you can find it with just Mylon temples. You can find it with metal components right here um, to give it just a more technical and more interesting look. And um, also you will find uh, different, um, different metal glasses that uh, also come with uh, parts in acetate. So a classical um, uh, plastic material you would use in um, in glasses because it has like really, really nice features to work with. Um, in this case, uh, for example, the front is made from acetate and the uh, temples are the classical um, Makita flexible stainless steel material. And um, so you uh, get a nice uh, combination of a shiny frame with a, with a matte temple, for example. And um, so we really experiment with, with different um, combinations of, of materials and colors. Um, so you'll find um, plastic frames or acetate frames that are just acetate and you'll uh, also find um, acetate frames with metal parts um, and the other way around, like metal frames with acetate parts, yeah. And this one's my favorite, of course. <laughs> And the collaboration. Yeah, I'd like to show you, give you a quick, uh, quick um, overview of the collaborations. Um, first of all, um, I'd like to show you the um, the uh, Leica 
uh, collection. So um, we has launched a collaboration together with uh, German camera manufacturer Leica uh, just last year. And um, you see very, um, very interesting shapes um, coming with a lot of different details that you might um, recognize that are actually um, yeah, can, can be found on the on the Leica cameras as well. For example, the uh, the font uh, inside the temples is uh, the same one you would find on a Leica camera right here. So this is like the 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 actual original font um, Leica would use. And also, this is like a detail you can um, yeah as a as a camera enthusiast you might recognize from from the Leica cameras. Um, because you got a um, you got a uh, lacquer paint um, around the lens, um, which is used in the um, Leica cameras to um, to um, to ensure the the optical quality or the optical preciseness. Yeah. Right, Leica is the best. <laughs> Leica is the best. Yeah, and also a design icon. Yeah, this would be the last room collection I was uh, telling you about earlier. So. Um, the collection where you'd uh, hide the, um, the, the frame inside the lens so it gives them a very um, rimless and a very, um, very slick and, and light look and also these glasses are very lightweight. Yeah. So another uh, collaboration um, I want to, I'd like to mention is the one um, together with Bernard Willem um, probably the for Maikita the most iconic one. Uh, for example, this um, Maikita France was uh, the one we more or less got popular with all over the world, um, as it was worn by um, um, by the main actor in Sex and the City movie. Also, it kind of made Bernard Wilhelm quite. Uh even more well known with, because yeah. you started with him way in the beginning, right? Yeah. How many years ago? Because I know him for 25 years also. Okay, As, when I'm right, um, it must have been 13 years ago, but I'm not completely sure about that. Mm -hmm. And these? This is an interesting project uh, Maikita um, does um, as well. So this would be a collaboration together with uh, Helmut Lang, um, mm -hmm. uh, well-known uh, name from, from the, the real, 80s. And, the real um, helmet or... Sorry? The real helmet or the current brand Helmut Lang? The current brand Helmut mm -hmm. Lang, yeah. Um, and it comes with these like uh, side protection shields um, to give it more of a let's say glacier glasses look but uh, as a futuristic city sunglasses mm -hmm. very wearable by the by the way um, looks uh, strange but but feels very very organic mm -hmm. and this is Damar Doma this is, this is Damar Doma right mm -hmm. um, also, also um, a long-lasting uh, partnership uh, together with Maikita, and um, probably one of the one of the most classic and and uh, easy to wear sunglasses. Um, I can show you right here. In, in and you did a collaboration with Nelson uh, Margiela. That's right. You can find those uh, in a wide range on the back of this wall. Um, so, when, when it comes to um, Magella, uh, we do have um, um, at least three different, uh, three different lines, three different sub-collections. Um, you'll find the essential um, sunglasses, which are uh, very, very uh, like much um, reduced to the max. So um, no silicon parts on them. No, um, nothing you you won't need. So it's just the the the, the essence of a pair of sunglasses. Um, very lightweight, very easy, um, and um, yeah, just flexible. just just easy, beautiful, and of course flexible as um, more or less everything is in my kita. Um, then you'll find the uh, craft collection, the, uh, the, the Maison Magella Maikita craft collection. Artisanal? Um, sorry? The artisanal collection? The craft collection, it's the same as the artisanal collection they show? 
Well, it's kind of a um, yeah, it's kind mm -hmm. of the, the concept to to follow this up. Um, so uh, basically, uh, it contains um, these clear glasses, these um, correctional glasses uh, you can equip with your with your prescription. Um, in this case, coming with a with a slight tint to give it like more of a retro vibe, and um, also very very um, conceptual um, sunglasses. Um, with beautiful details and um, and are all strength of um, prescriptions possible to be made as slim as the frames well more more or less that um, is a bit uh, limited so um, if you wear a prescription which is let's say higher than plus four or uh, higher than minus six, um, we usually would recommend to um, to use a, um, a plastic frame um, because there you can more easily hide um, like the aspects of the lens, mm -hmm. and um, also it looks more beautiful to have um, these uh, very slim and lightweight frames just with a slight prescription mm -hmm. um, because you can see everything of it that's mm -hmm. more or less the uh, the core that you can see the whole um, thickness of the lens um, and um, i would say that um, yeah it's it's limited to a to a certain range of um, of prescriptions um, to make it like look as as sleek and as good as possible mm -hmm. yeah. So something like this would work. Is this yeah, this would mm -hmm. work for for um, for more or less any prescription. Um, this is made from acetate again, so it's the uh, Magella Raw collection. Um, so acetate, but uh, just uh, grinded, not polarized, and uh, so it has this nice sort of facet. Um, look you will find and it might look scratched to you but that's just uh, how it's how it's intended to be um, so it's just the pure material and without any um, without any um, polishing mm -hmm. to make them yeah like look a bit rough Great. and especially these um, these plastic uh, sunglasses and glasses are um, are made for even higher prescription, but of course mm -hmm. you can also glaze them with uh, low prescriptions. Oh uh, yeah, sure.